Bill Steincrest. Couldn't be any more exciting, and that's the way the formula works. It all comes down to now, the last word. If he should knock down one fence, we will have a jump off. Three way jump off. Three way jump off for the goal. And we do have a couple of riders with eights. Three, in fact. Gets hairy now as we look at this 24 year old man from Stockport, Cheshire, riding over to Amanda. Another mare, 10 years old, bred in England. Winner of the George Fisk Cup two years ago. He's been under pressure before, but I don't know that he's ever been under pressure quite to rival what's happened. Bill, now. when you were in Mexico City, you had a clear first round, along with Marion Coates of Great Britain. Then the second round came, such as Whitaker and Fargus. Now to the second. This wonderful mare. And Michael doesn't change his riding style. He's just going to do his thing. Look at her good, keen, alert expression. She rubs it behind, but it doesn't come down. Now the sailboat. This round is for the gold medal. Coming to that tough triple. Now we have a three-way tie. No, a two-way tie between the two United States riders. Bill. That was disaster for Michael Whitaker. Poor Michael. I really feel for him. That's such a... But a jump off will, will take place true. here at Santa Anita Park. That's right. Today. And guess what? A U.S. rider is going to win the jump off. That's right. <laughs> Michael <laughs> Whitaker. The wall. The Liverpool took them both. And yes. then a refusal. Hard to say what happened to her in there, really, because she had jumped the three combination fine the first time. Now he has a total of 11. Oh, boy. Puts it way out of the medal. Yeah. And that is heartbreak. The agony that this 24-year-old must feel at this point. A sellout crowd, standing room only on a very warm day. There is a, a breeze coming off the ocean. It's blocked, however, by the temporary stands here at Santa Anita. British have to keep Ronnie Massarella looks in a kind of resigned oh, expression. Goodness. He's had good days and bad days before, and he'll have some good days and bad days again. I'm sure that Ronnie can take it in his stride. I don't know why she's struggling through this combination as much as she is, because she's got good scope, otherwise she couldn't have jumped that enormous oxer. But I really feel for Michael. I think it was no failure of nerve on his part. He's a wonderfully steady, cool customer under pressure. Great Britain with two silver medals in equestrian competition, behind the United States in the three-day event, and behind the United States in team show jumping. She comes to the last line now. Has down. She really just has fallen apart in this round. She ends up with 28 and a half faults. Well, so what we have here now for the gold medal, two American riders, Conrad Holmfeld and Joe Fargus. They own a farm together in Virginia. What could be more exciting? A course will be changed. They'll race against the clock. Don't go away. We'll be back at Santa Anita 